This is the Buttercup Podcast with your host, Cash Nate. What's up, big guy? What's up? How you doing? Doing good. On this fine Monday. You looking good? Yeah. I don't know. That's what I'm talking about. So, have you heard about the Blue Beam Project? Yes, I have. You think it's true? I do. And I think it is very scary. So for our audience, basically the Blue Beam Project, or Conspiracy Theory, whatever you want to call it, is supposed project, or the purpose is to create an artificial second coming. And they're trying to control people and abolish all Christian and traditional religions and try to create one world religion based on man so the way they're trying to do that is they're supposed to start with making aliens seem as an enemy like make movies and stuff where when aliens invasions happen they blow us up and try to destroy us and all this so they're making our instinct to fear aliens you know and at the same time with that they've been since way generations back I don't know if they've been doing it or if it is true, because I somewhat kind of believe in aliens. Kind of don't. I don't know. It's a 50-50 shot. But making UFO sightings and spotting aliens and little videos and slits and pictures and stuff to think that we think that they exist. Yeah, I like in Arizona there was a UFO sighting. It was, they're called UAPs now. Which is scary. Yeah. That is yeah, freaky. Official names and stuff. Yeah. And there's been... Sightings and stuff of aliens, those alleged sightings of aliens, which is rumored to be government controlled, rumored to not be real aliens, and they're supposed artificial stuff and fake sightings basically. Did so they want to make us think that it's real? They're trying to make us think it's real. Pretty much scare us. What they're doing is they're um, holograms, they're making basically like. The technology we have these days, we probably uh, don't have like out of this world. Yeah, we it pretty have. much makes you think that they're aliens because it's out of this world technology yeah. that the government has. And their their hologramming technology is crazy. They had a they did a Tupac and he performed a song with hologram and Luke. Like he was, it looked yeah, like he was up video, on yeah. stage. Yeah, it looked like yeah. real life. So there's. A good ninety nine percent chance that they could do the same thing, but just making an alien or a yeah, big so saucer. Make a spaceship, make us all gather in one. And mind you, in the United States, we have over seventeen thousand nuclear bombs, and a nuclear bomb is gonna like it wipes out like they're not really a quarter using because of how how deadly they are. It it's so crazy deadly, and so they're trying to control us. And they help. They also use our phones to have our emotions and our fears, and have, they basically have all the information in us just by our phones. Because think about it, everything we do is on our phones. We have phone everything. calls. We are like different TikToks, we, Snapchat. Yes, yeah, Snapchat. You're pretty much posting put and all putting your, all your stuff life. on that cell phone. Yeah. your whole life. So if they want to so take control can, of something, they have a a way of kind of directing you into what they want to do and so when this sighting has happened they're gonna tell everybody to take immediate cover going to shelter and they're gonna have on video they're gonna have a government official say do this do this follow these directions and if not you're gonna die all this and so for people that do that they're gonna all end up in bunkers because why is everybody starting to make all these bunkers and everything yeah and all these, all these all the rich, rich people, people yeah, rich, rich people is taking they, their money out of other their things. Own bunkers, yeah. where they're trying to go somewhere else, up in the space, up in the sky, or down underground. They're trying to make their own bunkers because they're gonna send the majority population that they can into facility bunkers that they already have, and they're gonna supposedly kill them off all except like some people. And for the people that um, that don't believe it, don't follow directions. They said they're gonna just basically nuke the whole world. Planet. Yeah, basically. Yeah, yeah. They're gonna nuke everywhere. So everybody that doesn't believe in it is 
Yeah. Basically, not going to be yeah. a lot. There's not going to be very much of that. And so all you won't even if it even if it is fake, you wouldn't be able to know. Because yeah, everybody you're in the be bunker's dead. gonna and everybody in the bunker's gonna hear that and be like, oh shoot, alien invasion. Yeah. yeah, aliens, aliens. You're not gonna have anybody to say it wasn't aliens because everybody out there's gonna be elites yeah. that are rich people, government people, and they're gonna be the people that aren't gonna be saying to people the things. Yeah, but they aliens, already got their bunkers made. But they know what's really going on, but they'll send the people that they want to stay alive, that they're trying to, pretty much they're trying to make a race that is controllable. Yeah. And they, they can make their own one perfect race that they think is good. They're thinking that the human population is getting too much and too uh, diverse, I guess. Yeah. And unique. They're able to, they want to be able to have you controlled, able to do and, this. Yeah. That we're figuring so things out that we're doing. a smaller population where it's easier to get in touch with all of them and get it all in their brain. So, I so, honestly think. What do you think about know. it? You think it's true? I don't know. If it is, I don't know when it would happen. I yeah. Mean, this, this is this, very this unpredictable. This theory came up in, I think, like 1980s because there was a movie. Uh, what was that movie called? It's about an alien invasion, yeah. though, huh? Yeah. I'm trying to think of that movie. Independence Day. I mean, Indep yeah. Because yeah. when you think of alien invasion, you think of... Scared. The first You're... thing I think of is a spaceship coming down at the White House and blowing that thing up. And everybody's seeing that. And just first thing I think of is happening. aliens come down, ray guns, you get zapped, you just... It's gonna kill all of us. Yeah, I think it's a, it's a possibility, but... But there's really a good a, chance that aliens could not. And it could be peaceful. It's a pretty good stretch, but... I mean, you never know. But in your honest opinion, do you think that it is, that they're doing that? That the Blue Beam Project is a real thing? Because what thinks, what really makes me think that it's really truthful is the dude that came out with that book. Yeah. yeah. The, and the, the, he came out with the Blue Beam Project and then he died. A yeah. couple years later, they said he went on to be crazy, he was an alcoholic. Never did any stuff. drugs, and, never did yeah, anything before, in his whole life before. In, in his that. life, he was... Just a regular dude. He didn't have any addictions known, known or 100% anything like natural that. human being. And a couple months later, or a couple years later, sorry, they said he ended up dying of a some sort of heart attack, which only I forgot a statistic, but a low number of people die from heart attacks. Yeah. So it's kind of a that was what like maybe not even a month after he made that book. No, I was like a year. Or something it was a like year. That, yeah. yeah. But that it's, it's crazy it's, though. When people. I think when people come out with things like that that are controversial and they end up dying, I think there's a good possibility that they're true because I don't think all these people are dying just for Out of nowhere, it's not, yeah. I don't think it's just a coincidence sometimes. Uh -uh. I think they're really onto something. So I, I think it could definitely happen. I don't know if it's I think our it's lifetime or if it's, I don't know. But at the same time, yes, I don't. But it'd be a big, that's a big project to pull off and to have to. One and that's a lot of people, that, the, the whole world. You'd have to be able to make the whole world think this is real. And so basically the only only chance you have if that happens is to basically kind of just rebel against the government. It's, but you couldn't do it on your own. Yeah, you're just going to end up as another one of those people. It'd be people. a tough situation. It's scary. But I 100%, I, I, yeah, I 100% believe it's real. When is it going to happen? No clue. It can happen in a span from... Us being alive to our fourth generation of kids. What do you think aliens are make the roof? I think they exist, but I think that either they've already came and checked this place out and they have nothing to do with us and they probably just moved on to the next, or that they don't. They would rather live side by side with us or just leave us alone. Also, you never know. Aliens could also be, I mean, just like us. I mean, That's what I'm saying. They could live side by side with us. They, yeah, they and they could not, like not know about us either, but also they could be like, could be millions mean. of years more, um, ex like um, can't think of the word, like in, advanced in front of us, us yeah. yeah, and just have this technology. But if they had that, then you would think they'd already be able to make it to us and figure us all out. But yeah, again, there's a chance they could, and they're just like, Psh. yeah, they're it's just like, nah, let's not mess with them. Behind us, they, they can't do anything. No, be able to do nothing. Yeah, but I mean, but I, I believe that aliens are real, and I believe that if they did come down here, they would definitely not. The first thing I don't think they would try to destroy us. 
Yeah, that's the thing. I think. That's but out of the movies piece, that they've though. created and well, all the stuff that, that they've yeah, gave us, scared. yeah. When I if I and see then, an alien, I'm not going to shake his hand. I'm gonna run. People shoot back. Then that's when they really mess us up. Yeah, yeah. then they aren't gonna be mad because if we yeah, kill any of them, it, that's when yeah. Well, it's, it's and that's a, another way that they could a, set it up. They could say that the government tried to fight back, and that's why the aliens are rebelling as well. Yeah, it's definitely a, a thinker. It's a good. It's a good theory, but it is a good theory, yes. So, let us know in the comments what you guys think. Is yeah. the Blue Beam Theory... It's the Buttercup Boys. Buttercup Boys. Is the, is the Blue Beam Theory real? Stay classy.